हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू द लेक्चर्स ऑन थ्योरी ऑफ ऑटोमेट एंड कंप्यूटेशन लेट अस डिस्कस टुडे वन मोर एग्जांपल ऑन पंपिंग लेमा फॉर रेगुलर लैंग्वेजेस लेट अस लुक एट द एग्जांपल प्रूव दैट एल इज इक्वल्स टू ए रेज टू द पावर एन बी ए रेज टू द पावर एन सच दैट एन ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू वन इज नॉट रेगुलर फाइन सो वॉट डज दिस लैंग्वेज मीन्स दैट इक्वल नंबर ऑफ एज फॉलोड बाय बी followed by equal number of a's for example if we have a string double a b double a so will this string belong to the given language yes if we have a string like triple a b double a does it belong to this given language no because in this case the number of a's before b are greater than number of a's after b and what does the given language says that the number of a's before b and the number of a's after b are exactly same fine if we have double a double b double e does this string belong to the language the answer is no because in the given language there is only one b we cannot iterate b which can be changed only a's can be changed fine so i hope it is clear that which type of strings belong to the given language now what we will do we will use the pumping lemma to prove that the given language l is not regular so what does pumping lemma says pumping lemma says that in step 1 let us assume that let us assume that the given language l is regular right accepted by which is accepted by machine m machine m with n number of states right so we have the given language l it is regular and this regular language is accepted by a finite state machine m and that machine is having n states fine these are the fixed steps which we are following in each and every example for detailed description on the pumping lemma you can look at my previous video and other examples as well in step 2 what we are supposed to do we again have to assume that let us assume that w is equals to now we have to assume a string w so what we will assume here we will assume here the generalized string that is the string given in the language that is a is to the power n b a is to the power n fine here what is the length of w length of w is equals to 2n plus 1 how we calculated it n plus n is 2n plus 1 that is 1b so it will become 2n plus 1 condition satisfied because pumping lemma says that the length of string should be greater than equal to n that is the number of states in the same step what we are supposed to do we have to divide the string into three parts divide w into x comma y and z fine so how we will write it we will write that employs w is equals to a raised to the power n minus 1 a b a raised to the power n considering this is x this is y and this is z fine now over here which conditions are there that the length of x y should be less than or equal to n in this case what is the length of x and y if we merge x and y the length of xy will become n minus 1 plus 1 which is equals to n so condition satisfied y should not be lambda or y should not be epsilon condition satisfied no restrictions on z fine so that means we are following all the given conditions of the pumping lemma at this step and the division of the string is perfectly fine now here few of the students feel like that we can divide the string like this a raised to the power n b a raised to the power n considering this is x this is y this is z this is so simple three strings are given three things are given and we have to divide into three parts fine now in this case if we try to meet the pumping lemma condition what is the first condition length of x y should be less than or equal to n in this case the length of x y will become n plus 1 so we are not meeting this condition fine so we cannot divide the string in this manner so dividing the string like a raised to the power n 
minus 1a will always be the correct manner and try to convert each and every given example into this format then the pumping lemma will be very easy fine now in the next step what we will do step 3 we will iterate i that is for any value of i x y raised to the power i z should not belong to l fine now here we will consider i is equals to 2 again you can take any value 3 4 5 6 7 we will take that employees w will become a raised to the power n minus 1 a raised to the power 2 b a raised to the power n which is equals to a raised to the power n plus 1 b a raised to the power n fine now this string will not belong to l clear now why this string will not belong to l in this case because the number of a's before b is always one greater than the number of a's after b and what the given language says that given language says that the number of a's before and after b is always same then this contradicts our assumption this contradicts our assumption hence the given language l is not regular fine hence proved see this is the again the same method all the same step same style of dividing the string the basically what we need to do is to understand the language and choose a string i hope this example is clear to you if you have any doubts or queries please mention in the comments below we will definitely get back to you thank you for watching